Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to November's budget recap video. It was an interesting month this month and I'm excited just to get into the numbers and show you how we did. As always, I am in my Moterm A5 Croc. I do have a review on this and a setup video if you want to see what's in my financial sort of section. Um, all the stickers are from my Etsy store, The Functional Planner Co. And the paper is from Fancy Plans. Direct links are all down below. Let's get into it. So for those of you who are frequent watchers of my budget videos, you know that I always lean on a um, shipping, what is this, an envelope. Um, and it's normally always a brown one. I've leveled up. I've got a white one this time. So hopefully that will be less of an eyesore. Um, getting into the numbers. Now, um, I will just say, like I say in every single finance video, if you do want to know a bit more about my financial history and who I am, what I do, there's always a little kind of financial bio, if you will, in the down bar. So our salary was slightly more than expected. It was just under £30 more. Uh, and that was due to um, some tax stuff that was finally sorted out that I've needed to do for months. Etsy was a little more than it has been the last couple of months. It's slowly starting to creep back up um, after I kind of had sort of a mini break from uploading stuff on Etsy um, and obviously my sales did kind of decline because of that that's one thing if you do have an Etsy store if you are consistent with coming out with new releases and also sharing those new releases online which I wasn't great at um, that will ultimately help you so I did that a lot more this month um, and we made £394.91 pence. so that was obviously an overage of £394.91 pence because we don't budget anything for Etsy. Miscellaneous this month definitely was a lot more than usual. It was £522.35, and pence, which is an overage of £322.35, and pence, more than we were estimating. I will say with this month, um, I had a lot more um, money coming in from D stashes. And I also had a lot more money coming in from market research. So I finally got paid for some market research that I was doing with Mars. Um, and I'm, I have been thinking about doing a video on how to kind of make extra money online. Um, there are so many videos like that, so I don't mind to be too samey, but let me know if that's something that you would want. Um, but yeah, my market research alone made me £114.87, so that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, happy with the additional income this month and the just total income with everything together. So our total income this month, including all of those categories, was 300... 300? Oh God, I hope not. 3,000... <laughs> 114 pounds and 14 pence which gave us sorry guys i'm left-handed so it's really difficult to show you what i'm doing because i'm always like writing over um which was 776 pounds and 66 pence more than we were estimating it's always great when your income is more than you expect Moving down to bills. Now, um, I did say last month that we are not going to be doing the iTunes storage now because I joined one of my friends like family plans and then he has just joined my Spotify plan. So we've kind of just done it like that. Um, so that will save me an extra two forty nine a month uh, because every little helps. So um, Spotify was three seventy five and it came out on the 10th. The phone bill was £15 and it came out on the 26th. Coming to think of it now, I don't think I did tell you guys about that. So yeah, um, obviously the iTunes will not be an expense from this point onwards. I don't actually know how much I spent for iTunes now that I come to think of it. I'll have to check that. But I believe I only paid like 79p. Um, so I will double check that. Um, I should have probably thought about that before I did this video, but it completely slipped my mind. But that isn't going to be an expense that we'll have next month, which is awesome. So I'll just leave that for now. Family, we did get the £100. Donations were 20 and then waxing was 90 Pretty much my bills stay the same every month. Like I said, I don't really have much when it comes to outgoings. I try and keep them at a minimum. The fact that we are not sort of going out much and I'm working completely from home means that I don't have those additional expenses like travel, um, which is a lot. I used to spend £2,000 a year when I bought my yearly travel card. And then I would spend, uh, if I wasn't buying the yearly travel card, I'd spend around about £200 a month on travel. So that is a big expense that I'm saving and putting back into my um, savings. 
Right, so on to our little sinking funds. Um, and so personal spending, we estimated that we would put in the account £93.38. And we did, we didn't put any extra in. And that number is a bit weird because I always want to start off the month with £100 um, in my personal spending. For the month of December, I will be giving myself a bit more. So if you do want to know a bit more about that, stay tuned for the December budget setup. Um, and then the balance was £34.00 and 71 pence which means that we only spent um 65 pounds and 29 pence which i was really happy about because you guys will know in the last few months i have been spending 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 and i think it's because i didn't spend for so long during like the sort of earlier days of the lockdown i was just being really good didn't spend any money and then things started to open up and i was like okay you know what i'm gonna treat myself but i didn't do that this month i was really good and i'm proud of myself because sneak peek i'm filming this on what day am i filming this i'm filming this on the 29th of november and black friday has just passed and i spent a lot of money so i'm glad that i didn't spend much in november a big bulk of that 65 pounds and 29 pence actually went towards my fabfit fun box so yeah i will be showing you guys that when it comes i'm super excited so yeah we ended our month with a balance of 34 pounds and 71 pence on to the functional planner co now this was an area that i stocked up a lot this month it mainly came from etsy sales which you guys know i only put into my business what i make from my business i try not to put anything from my salary because it is literally a side hustle so i actually put in 130 pounds and 76 pence and our balance this month is 77 pounds and 34 pence i will usually kind of just put in maybe 40 to 50% of what I make from Etsy each week into my sort of functional planner co expenses account. Um, and if it's got to the point where I've stocked it pretty much and I don't need to stock it for a while because I've got stuff that I need, then I just will leave it and just put the money all into my savings account. Um, but yeah, I did top up quite a bit because I wanted to buy a few new bits for the shop and then also just stocking up on like paper and shipping labels and all of that fun stuff. So we did actually spend £62.65. and pence. So yeah, not too bad, uh, but we got all the things we needed. On to clothing. This was an area that I didn't spend and that was in preparation for uh, the Black Friday sales. I typically, like two or three months before Black Friday, I just won't buy clothes so that I can get as much as I can um, on Black Friday for a discounted price. Right, on to gifts. We estimated 237 and we did actually put in £237. Um... I did spend £147 and I can't read my writing. Does that say 45 or 95 It's one of the two. Um, I did get ahead and try and buy as many gifts as I could. And I think I've got most of them. The day that I'm filming this, I pretty much have got all of them bar maybe like one. So yeah, I wanted to get as much as I could before December because that's when it gets crazy. Um, And obviously you want to buy your presents on Black Friday because they're so much cheaper. So our balance... Uh, is 278 pounds and 63 pence now on to planning now i did definitely purchase a few bits and bobs uh, and mainly from my friends shops um kerry from modern paper co and then jade from misquoted plans i did do a haul on that so if you want to see what i got please check that haul out um and then i also got a few bit i also got a new motem cover which i don't know if i'm going to be keeping um so that's why i haven't showed you guys yet i might feature it in uh, an upcoming haul but uh yeah it wasn't exactly fit for what i wanted so that uh was that so we actually put in the 95 that we said we would um i spent 81 pounds and 72 pence um which gave us a balance of 13 pounds and 28 pence and obviously um from this 95 my simply gilded sub box also comes out this the exchange rate is pretty good at the minute so i only actually paid 27 pounds and 91 pence for the box um including shipping to the us um with the add-on obviously i get it shipped to my stack readdress if you guys are not in the US, um, you live in Europe, I believe they're just Europe, um, and you want to purchase stuff from the US, please check out Stackery. It is incredible um, for getting all of your, your packages shipped into one package and then shipped straight over to the UK. I mark the value of the items lower than they're worth. Um, so I don't pay customs, which I guess is a little bit naughty, but it's pretty much what everyone does. Um, and 
it has saved me a lot of money and I usually get my stuff between seven to 10 days in the UK. I've used it about 12 times in the last year and it's never caused me any problems. I do have a discount code down below if you'd like to save $10 off. Onto my whatever fund, nothing really happened here. Um, didn't put any money in and the balance stayed at zero, uh, the balance stayed at 100, sorry, because I didn't spend any money. BUT is exactly the same. I haven't stopped this for a while and I don't think I will until, I'm thinking maybe January, we'll see, but I've pretty much got everything I needed and sometimes I'll just get it for my personal spending. So I won't need to put any money into that uh, pot. And then on to go wild slash vacations. Didn't spend any money here because, uh, where are we going, sis? <laughs> Nowhere. But I will say I will probably be spending a bit of money there just because uh, for New Year's Eve, myself and one of my best friends, we want to do like a little staycation and stay in a hotel in London, uh, well, in central London. Um, so there might be some money taken out of that account, but so far, nothing. On to our savings. Now, we estimated that we would save... £1,710.26 and pence, and we actually saved, I'm going to have to squeeze in here, £2,313.71. and pence. So I was really happy about that. I kind of always want to hit the £2,000 mark each month, as I've said before, and that extra income really just comes from Etsy and then my Facebook D stash sales are selling anything that I don't like from subscription boxes or I won't use from subscription boxes that I've got or just decluttering my stuff. I've also um, sold quite a bit on eBay recently. That's also what came, what made up this £522 and I'm wanting to sell even more. It's just a really lengthy process of actually taking pictures of stuff and then listing it and blah, 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 blah. it's just long. So um, I have vowed that when I'm off for three weeks, I will 100% get all my stuff on eBay because I have so much stuff, so many clothes, and it all needs to be gone. So friends, that was my November budget recap. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this at the start of the video, but this cute little charm um, is for both of them actually, are from Misquoted Plants, who is one of my faves in the planning community, Jade. I'll have her stuff linked down below. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty much a good month. Um, we're slowly starting to creep up on the additional income. I will say towards the end of the year when it comes to Christmas, I think the additional income section does increase because obviously you have gifts that you're given um, that are sometimes uh, money. Um, you are selling a lot more stuff to try and save money and get ready for Christmas. And then also um, for me, my Etsy store tends to be a lot busier. We do have the Black Friday sale weekend. And then we also have just Christmas in general. People want to start getting ready for their budgets for the new year, which I do budget stickers, obviously. And then just generally their planner setups as well. So I do expect it to increase um, next month. I'm keeping my fingers crossed anyway, but we will see. Um, and yeah, let me know how your November went. How did you do in your Black Friday shopping I don't count my Black Friday budget in this November budget because my budget runs from the 25th of the month to the 25th of the month. And then I believe Black Friday was the 27th. So you will see all of my Black Friday shenanigans in the December budget recap. So definitely stay tuned if you'd like to know how I did there. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video. Bye.